Hello everyone, this is Ashwin Pitaf Singh. Welcome back to our channel Code Cutty. So in this video, we are going to see how to do Firebase sign-in login with Gmail. And also we are going to see how to do Firebase login with email and password. Okay, so you can see I'm having this uh, demo. Okay, so let's uh, try to do this. So if I log in, then I'll go to this page where I'll get this detail of the user and also I'll see this logout button if I click on this and also I'm having this sign up option okay and uh, if I'll say uh, something like xyz at gmail.com okay and let's add password something uh, one two three four five six okay and then sign up okay then uh, my account will be created under uh, this so let's see this So if I click on this authentication that you can see I'm having this account like this okay so that's how uh, thing work and if I click on this logout then also I'll get uh, this detail okay and uh, uh, also uh, I'm having this Google sign in if I click on this then I'll get this uh, option of choosing account so I'll uh, choose this one and once I'll choose my particular account then I'll get uh, logged in. Click on logout. Then all the details of that particular users will be replicated here also. Okay, so that's how uh, things work. So let's understand understand like how things work. So uh, I'm already having all the configuration, but for you, I'll try to do all the things uh, from the start. So let's start. So if I click on this create a project. Okay, so the first thing what we have to do, we have to take care that you have a Firebase account. Okay, and then we have to create a new project. Okay, so let's do this. Let's name it uh, A B C and uh, something like one two three. Okay, and then continue. And again continue. So we, here we have to choose the account and create project. Okay. So uh, we have already seen this in our previous video, but uh, we are just doing all the things uh, from scratch again. So here I'm having one more thing uh, that is this React Native Firebase library. So I'm going to use this around my application, okay? And uh, uh, after having installation, so what we have to do for the installation, we have to install this library, okay? And after uh, installing the library, we have to make some changes under uh, build gradle file okay so we'll see so if i'll show you here so once this uh, setup is done so you'll get uh, this type of uh, thing okay now click on this one again and click on add app okay now you'll see option of this so click on android okay now here you have to add the package name okay so you can see the package name is generally uh, the application id in your build gradle okay so i'll provide you a few ways so if i'll search for com dot okay and the project name like i'll say uh, code catty is my project name so i'll search for code only then you can see that under this build gradle here i'm having this application uh, id okay and this application id and the name is space both are same so you can use them so let's copy this and paste it here So uh, we have already uh, used it in a different project. So let's name it one because we are not going to use it. So register. So now once this will be done, so uh, then we'll get an option of adding this Google services dot JSON file. Okay, under my Android's app griddle. Okay, so uh, not the griddle, sorry, under the app folder. Okay, so download this and then paste it under. I'll show you the path so let's collapse this so your android folder under this app folder you have to paste your this google services dot json okay now what you have to do you have to make few more changes like you can see uh, it is asking me to make changes under build dot gradle okay so i'll show you like what are the changes like under this android under this app then build dot gradle you have to uh, add this line so you can see it is asking me some 
in text like this but there is nothing like this that's why you have to add it like apply plugin then the same uh this path okay so that's being added here after adding this uh you have to add some dependencies these are the two so you'll find it here so you have to just copy and paste it okay so one more change uh you have to do uh you will find it under this uh documentation also so it is asking me you can see here this class path so you have to uh check this android under this android folder not under this app folder so we have already made changes under this uh, app folder so we have to make changes under this android and then build.gradle and then add okay and uh check out this note uh whatever the version but for me 4.3.8 is required that's why i did it cool now uh come back here and click on next then continue then you can see i'm having this authentication okay but we have created some different project right uh refresh it maybe it's gone yeah this one this is my project so now here you can see uh, i'm having this authentication option so let's click on get started you will not find it here so click on this build then under this here there's option of authentication okay now we have to enable the things like click on this uh sign in method so let's enable this and save it okay and we are going to use gmail as my provi provider also then click on this and click on here okay and enable it and then configure this one okay here you can see there is nothing uh, right now so let's save it okay so once you save you'll find this web client id also so this web client id is going to be used under our library so we'll see like how we'll get this okay so once you are changing everything uh, then make sure to re-download that google services.json because we have made changes right so yeah, uh, once you are done with all the changes, okay, then uh, you need to re-download your file. So let's uh, close this because we have already project. So we'll go on through that only. So let's click on continue. Okay. So here you can see I'm having this authentication option. Uh, so so okay, I just wanted to show you this my existing project only. So we'll go on through with this only. Okay. So yeah, uh, when the things are done, so uh, whenever you are able to enable all the things and all, so then you have to re-download your file. So let's click on this project settings, okay, and just come at the bottom here. You can see option of uh, downloading this Google Services .json. So re-download it and place it uh, here inside this app folder and replace it, okay. So after that, uh, one more thing we have to do, but we'll see like how to add this and where we'll get this uh, SHA certificate okay so this will be required only for uh, development purpose only okay once you are on the production mode that is not required to add for each project right so let's see so once everything is done you have to run npm run uh, android command to rebuild your project. okay after that we are going to use authentication only so let's click on usage and then we have to install uh, this module okay so after installing this uh, you will find uh, some pretty uh, cool code okay so that is uh, very handy uh, and now we have to just copy the things and use them so i'm already having all the things that's why uh, uh, we'll not use this so because we have some different scenarios that's why uh, we are uh, with this so see let's see so uh, we'll go on through the things one by one so here you can see i'm having this uh auth from firebase okay so uh, we are going to use this same so uh, we, you can ignore this line okay i'll provide the code also and provide the over the description of youtube okay so here you can see i'm having this uh, initialization then user so this is the same code uh, you have already seen so uh, here I'm having this method and this is subscriber so once uh, user will get logged in then this method will run and set the state 
okay and after setting up the state uh, we are going to have a check that if there is a user then show me uh, the UI so we have already seen that uh, kind of UI uh, whenever user is logged in okay so we'll see like this UI so this UI will be there and if uh, there is uh, no user then we have option of uh, sign up and login so let's log out so we have a state that is uh, used to check whether which screen we have to show like sign up or the login okay so let's see sign up code first so that's pretty simple that we have two text boxes like this then we have a button on if I click sign up here then there is a two text boxes and there is a button sign up so once we'll click on this then this method is going to be run okay and then uh, we are just uh, having this listener you know uh, we have already seen that if the user is logged in then this will run and we'll get logged in simple okay now uh, if you user wants to uh, log in with the same details okay then there is a different method so i'll show you uh, this one on login okay so there is this auth and this auth where it is coming from this is coming from react native firebase slash auth okay and sign in with email and password and the same email and password we have to pass so that's how uh, things work with uh, email and password login now we have to uh, go on through the google sign in okay so let's go on to the documentation again so here you can see i'm uh, option of this google sign in okay and uh, now I'm having import of this line so let's see uh, we have already imported this line uh, here you can see this is the same line but uh, extra thing is this signing button so uh, you have seen that we have a button so I have used the same button so we don't need to uh, design anything okay so now this uh, Google sign in configure and web client ID so maybe you are thinking how to get this so we have already seen but uh, let's see again so when once you are done with the configuration click on authentication then sign in method then double click your uh, gmail then here you can see web sdk configuration so let's open this and this is the web client id we are going to use cool now come back and then we have uh, once we are uh, having this setup of web uh, Google sign-in configuration then we have to uh, just log in so how so there is already code present uh, we have to just reuse this so maybe a few things won't work for you um, so you can use like you can see I'm using data dot data something like this now so you have to use like this code would also work if it doesn't then you can use my code also okay so i'll go on through this like it first of all it is checking that it has a play services and make sure that you are using a real device maybe it won't work for your emulator okay and uh, then we have this data okay once we are signing with gmail then this data is, is uh, going to provide one id token and this google credential will be passed to auth means a firebase auth signing credential and then it will uh, show the same user under uh, my authentication like this okay so this is uh, very simple uh, we'll provide the code also uh, and then we have option of this logout so this is a logging out user from us firebase and if you want to log out from uh, google gmail then this code is going to be that revo revoking the access then signing out okay so yeah uh, that's the things uh, going to be used and now one more point i want to discuss like if you are thinking uh, maybe the things won't work for you uh, so what uh, are the things that needs to be added like here click on this project setting okay and under this uh, here this is SSH certificate okay so how to get this so first of all go to Android folder and then run uh, this dot slash gradle w space signing report okay so once you'll run this then this will provide you this thing and we are using a debug that's why we are going to use this SSH a1 key 
okay and you have to just paste it here and things will start working for you okay cool so yeah that's all uh, about the today's video if you really uh, learned something from this video then please hit like and subscribe to our channel thank you